My name is Suzanne Amari and I'm an assistant professor of clinical psychiatry at Columbia Psychiatry. So the research I'm doing at Columbia is really focused on what are the causes that underlie obsessive compulsive disorder, otherwise known as OCD. So in order to actually get at this question of what causes OCD, we took advantage of new technology that's been developed, which is called optogenetics. So opto stands for light, genetics is the use of various genes, and when you put them together, what optogenetics allows us to do is to use light to actually turn on and off neural circuits in the brain. And so what that actually allowed us to do in our study is to, to essentially mimic the imaging findings that we see in people. So mimic the hyperactivity that we see in the cortex and in the striatum in a mouse model system. So essentially we can use these light activated channels to turn on and off circuits in the mice, and in the case of this particular study, to hyperactivate one particular neural circuit going from the cortex to the striatum. For this specific study, the measure that we're focusing on is actually one where the mice are repetitively grooming themselves. And some other genetic studies that have been performed by other groups have suggested that repetitive grooming in mice can be linked directly to OCD and, and things like skin picking behaviors in people. What we found was really surprising. So that stimulation did not lead directly to repetitive behaviors, but if we repeatedly stimulated for multiple days in a row, for only five minutes a day though, what we got was the progressive evolution of repetitive behaviors, in this case repetitive grooming behavior, that built to a large level and then stuck around even when the stimulation was stopped. So essentially doing this small intervention led to a pathologic change that led to abnormal behavior in the mice that that was uh, persisted for a long period of time. 